Hello, I am Silveria Jacobs, your candidate number two on the National Alliance slate. And I would like to ask each and everyone hearing this broadcast, seeing this ad, to remember how important it is that you go out there on September 26th, 2016 and cast your vote. Cast your vote for a candidate you can trust. Cast your vote for a representative that you know is honest, has integrity, and will work hard for you. That is the most that you can do on election day. But of course, after that, keep account of what that person and the government is doing. Ask questions, you have that right. Demand answers, that is also your right. Make suggestions. These are the rights of you as voters, the electorate of St. Martin. So I encourage you, go out and vote. Today I'd like to speak to you about another passion of mine, which is culture. I have always been involved in culture from the time I was a very little girl, dancing with the Motions Dance Company and moving up in the ranks. No matter where I have been, I am always proud of the fact that I was one of the first Panam dancers right here on St. Martin when it was finally taught to us. We have a national dance, the Panam. And today, because of initiatives that we have taken over the years and the initiatives of people like Clara Race and others who are always working in the field, Many children on St. Martin can now do the Panam dance. We have the Panam dance in the after-school programs being taught, along with our cultural dishes, our national uh, birds, as well as all of the monuments that we have on St. Martin. As a ministry that, that I now head is also culture, we are fo focused on making sure that all monuments are labeled. That is currently going on and was an initiative that we had since I was minister back in 2012. I'm so happy to see that finally coming to pass. Monuments are being remeasured so that we can honor them, protect them, and that the rest of the land can be used by the owners for whatever they need to use it for. Recognizing who we are as a people is important. And that's why the decade of the revitalization of our natural and cultural heritage was coined back in 2012. It went on the back burner for a while, as many things have. But when I got back on the scene and in discussion with the culture department, we have been able to revitalize it. And we've just held wonderful, wonderful workshops where our stakeholders, together with the professor who came down, were able to identify areas where we can highlight our culture for tourism purposes. At the end of that, a symposium was held where all of the stakeholders the people who have contributed in creative arts, dance, so performance arts, in literary arts, came together and held discussions in a symposium. What a wonderful experience that was, to finally be able, to see them finally be able to contribute. It is but a first step, but we are aiming towards being able to identify who is a St. Martiner, protecting such a person within our constitution, and then moving forward into making sure that each and every person here on St. Martin knows what our culture is, protects our culture, honors our culture and our flag, and making sure that we have a national anthem. That is my goal for the next four years, to make sure that these things come to pass. But we need your input. We do have culture in our curriculum only on the elementary level that I am sure of. So we need materials, we need the curriculum at the secondary level also to reflect who we are and why should we be proud to be St. Martiners. So I'd like you to give me an opportunity to make some of my dreams where cultural heritage are concerned come true because I know they are also your dreams. You the people will be involved every step of the way. Referendums will be held where you'll get the chance to voice your opinion. You will have the opportunity to say what you think and what you feel and that should be taken along in the policies that we as government have to execute. Whether at the government or the parliament level, I am prepared to work for you. Push the legislation forward so that we as St. Martin people can say we are proud, we are strong, and together we can build this country. So on September 26th, when you go out there and you are thinking on a candidate of integrity, honesty, and dedication, think on me. Think on Silveria Jacobs, your candidate number two on the National Alliance slate.